Hey guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. Excuse my no makeup face. Today we're doing something a bit different. Um, I wanted to try out this technique for you guys. It's called Jamsu. It was actually invented by a Korean blogger, I believe. You've seen it on Instagram, um, all over YouTube. Some people have been trying it out and I wanted to try it out for you guys. I'm sure you guys have heard of it. It's where you do your foundation, you cake your face with a lot of powder. I've seen people use baby powder, cornstarch, and then just regular translucent powder. That's what I'm gonna be using. So you just essentially bake your entire face with powder and then you dunk it in cold water for 30 seconds. And I personally am gonna let it drip dry. I know some people like to pat it off, but I'm just gonna let it air dry and Supposedly it gives you a flawless makeup look So I'm gonna try that out for you guys today and hopefully we get a good result I've seen that a lot of people with oily skin really like this hack and I have oily skin as you guys know So I'm really excited to try this out. I'm really hoping it gives me mattified foundation and Yeah, I'm really excited. So I Guess we'll go ahead and jump into this and I've already primed with my Benefit Professional Mattifying Primer. Um, I didn't want to use my super heavy duty Becca one because I wasn't sure how it reacts to being dunked in water. So we're going to go ahead and start. Now I'm going to fast forward through most of this, but I will tell you guys what I'm using. I am self tanned right now, so I'm using my Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade 128. And I'm mixing it with the L'Oreal True Match in shade Sun Beige because it's a bit more tan. Okay, so since I am self tanned, I'm going in and mixing these two concealers. This is the Naked Skin Concealer, and this is my Tarte Shape Tape. It just looks, the tart is like too much for my self tan skin color. And this is too dark, so I'm gonna mix both. I also have really watery eyes, and I've heard that this hack can help prevent that from happening throughout the day. So I'm really hoping that that is a true statement. Okay guys, this is the moment of truth here. And actually kind of sucks because I'm running low on my Laura Mercier translucent powder. And that's what I'm using today. So I'm trying to like shake it all out into the cap. And what we're going to do is basically bake the entire face. <laughs> this powder is so expensive and I'm using so much of it. Okay. We're going to start under the eyes. Okay. Here I go. This is it. This is normal. I do this every day. I don't know where to start. Just taking it right on my beauty blender, right onto my forehead. <laughs> oh. and cheeks. <laughs> oh my god. I don't know like how much to put on. I've seen people use a lot. So I'm really gonna pack it on. This is insane. Okay, almost done. I'm gonna add a little bit more. Oh, 
I think that's enough. All right, I'm gonna go grab some water. Six, five, four, three, two. This is nope. hard. <laughs> okay, what was that, like half? Yeah. Okay, you I'm going one. into this. Go. I did it for like 30 seconds. That was okay. 30 seconds? Yeah. I'm going to do like a little bit more. Bizarre. Now, do you air dry or can I'm gonna air dry. I've seen people do it like where they like pat it dry, but I feel like that would disturb the makeup. So I'm gonna. I've also seen people do it like where they just let it kind of dry. So I'm gonna do that. How do I look? Yeah, you look good. Really? Yeah, it doesn't. Look I mean, it doesn't look like. Um, you have to watch. <laughs> okay, guys. My face is still. Extremely wet, but it's like it looks good. It's so weird. Yeah, it's it's like still dripping and stuff, but like my eyelashes and eyebrows are like soaking wet. But it looks really good. Like this is weird. Um, over here might not have gotten a lot of water on it, but uh, I tried, guys. I tried. Ooh. I'm just gonna leave that hair. So I'm letting this air dry. I know a lot of people pet it off. I, some people like to just let it drip dry. That's what I'm gonna do. Um, if it starts to take too long, I'll pat I'll pat it off. But um, I know that once it starts to dry, um, the powder kind of comes through, and you just like swipe that away with a brush or whatever. So I'm gonna do that. It looks good. Honestly, it's like I can see the powder already starting to come through Like right here. Yeah in this area and on my nose. I Guess it doesn't take that long to dry on oh, my forehead, too I'll have to link The video that I really liked for you guys because I don't know if you guys watch Nikia joy, but I like her a lot and I liked her video that she did of this so that's where I got the idea, and then I watched some more videos, so. Just kind of letting this dry. Yeah, the powder's really starting to come through now. This is really cool, you guys. I have to give it to the woman that created this, because I really like it. I mean, I haven't really done anything yet, but. So far, it looks good. I'm um, getting some weird a little bit of weird cakiness around the crease in my nose but I figured that would happen in the little crevices of my face I figured that that would happen but I can just go in and blend it out okay so my face is dry it actually didn't take that long to dry so the only thing is my eyebrows are wet um, but that's okay we'll take care of that later but, I mean, clearly, I have all the powder left over on my face. So, taking a fluffy powder brush, this is by Morphe, and I'm just going to brush away the excess really lightly. Okay, so the powder is like, almost like it's stuck on the foundation, so you have to like swipe it away. You can't just like go like this. You have to like swipe it off. But this is really impressive, honestly. I'm just taking a tapered brush. This is by Morphe as well. And I'm just gonna like pat in those crevices of my nose where it, it got a little cakey and under my eyes. This is really good. Oh my God. You guys, I need a bigger mirror.
Wow. This looks really good. You guys, this is weird. It's super matte, which is what I need, so that's good for me. I, w I don't want to say I wouldn't recommend this to dry skin people, but if you're going to do this, make sure you moisturize a really good amount before you do this because it's kind of drying, um, which, I mean, makes sense for why it worked so well for people with oily skin that I watched. This is flawless, you guys. I can't. This is really cool. I just keep, like, letting it sit, and then if I ever see a little patch of powder, I just kind of swipe it away. I don't know if you guys can, like, really tell, but it looks really flawless. Wow. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and do the rest of my makeup, and I will be back with an updated version on how I feel about this makeup it looks really good okay guys i'll be right back okay you guys i am back i have finished my whole face of makeup and i have to tell you that this is incredible do you guys see this the foundation is like airbrushed it's beautiful i can't get over this it's so pretty if I can open my mirror, maybe I could look at myself. It's absolutely flawless. Like, do you guys see this? I, ooh, I got that highlight today. Wow. Looks good. This is really impressive. I am, like, I am so impressed. I can't. Wow. It looks completely like flawless and airbrushed and it's just oh my gosh it's perfect you guys I'm I am baffled here wow I'm also wearing Kat Von D Lolita on my lips in case you guys are wondering I can't get over this, you guys. This is insane. It looks perfect. This is insane. It looks so good. And I have to tell you guys that, like, the contour and blush and everything applied really nicely on top of it, too. Like, it just glided right on really... Oh, <laughs> there's my foundation. It just glided right on really, really smoothly. Um... And it blended so well with the foundation, too. Oh my gosh, it's just so pretty. I can't... It's the best finish I've ever had. And it's very matte, which is what I need. So it is snowing so much, you guys. I'm really pissed right now. Oh my god. You guys. I think this is the best my makeup has like ever looked. Oh my god, I can't. You guys, I am so impressed. Wow. I mean, I have a little bit of poor action going on here, but like that's just never going to go away for me, so. Wow. Wow. Just, I'm very, very impressed and happy that I came upon this technique I don't think I'll be doing this every day but definitely like especially for like special occasions or days where I want to have this flawless, flawless look um so it is it is 114 right now and I'm gonna go on with my day I have a class in a little while and I also have ballet later on today for an hour and a half and then Later on tonight, I have another two hours of dance. So, I mean, if you guys didn't know, I'm a dancer. So, later on, I have ballet. And then later, later on tonight, I will be dancing for another two hours. So, we will see how this holds up. Um, I will check in with you guys around 6.45-ish after I'm done with ballet. And we'll see how it has held up so far. And then 
I will check back with you later tonight around 11 and we'll see how it looks then. That'll be like a lot of wear. So hopefully this pulls through for me <laughs> and doesn't come off with all my oil. So fingers crossed and let's hope that this works and I will see you guys later. Okay, you guys, I am back with an update. I apologize for the lighting. I'm just in my bedroom and I just have an overhead light here, so it's not the best, but I have to say that this is looking really, really great. It is 7.01 right now, and I put this on at like 12.30ish, so six and a half hours, I mean, this looks really good for six and a half hours of wear. Um, I didn't do any touch-ups or anything. I haven't touched my face all day. I tried really hard not to like, especially like leaning on my hands or anything like that. Um, I just got back from ballet. I mean, we didn't really do anything. I'm still in my leotard here, but we didn't dance today because it was our first day and we had a lot of stuff to go over with what was going to be happening in the semester and everything. So. We didn't dance, so I didn't really sweat too much, but I still was out and about and I went to the store and stuff. So I am really impressed with this, I have to say. I'm very, very happy with the result. Um, I'm a little bit oily through this area. I expected that to happen. I didn't expect it to keep me 100% matte. Um, but I am really impressed with this. It is amazing. Now I'm going to relax at home, do some uh, housework, some errands, and like cleaning up in here and stuff. My room is a mess right now. So I'm going to do that. And later on I have dance from 9 to 11. So we will definitely be doing a lot of moving at that time. So I'm going to be all sweaty and stuff probably when I get back. But we will see how it holds up after two hours of constant dancing. Um, and I will check back in with you guys at that point. Okay, you guys, I am back for a final review of the Jam Su Foundation Technique. And I have to tell you guys, it looks really flawless still. Um, I have a Lumi case here on my phone, and I'm just like putting the light against my face so you guys can really see um, what it looks like. But it looks really good still. I mean, I'm, I'm, getting oiliness through here in the nose area um, and like on my chin a little bit but I mean I, I expected that to happen so for it to be only as much as it is I'm really impressed um, it's normally normally the foundation and concealer and everything really breaks up in this area for me by the end of the day um, by the way it is now 11 14 so this has been on for basically a total of like 11 plus hours. Um, it's really awesome. Uh, but yeah, I typically get a lot more breaking up of the foundation through he this area. But it's still all the same finish. It's like still all the same color and there's no breakage in this area. I, mean, I had a little bit of... Um, my nose is like starting to come through because I have a really runny nose, especially during the winter, so that was a little bit of an issue for me. But this is what it's looking like close up. I mean, it's <laughs> really nice. It hasn't, like, broken up on me at all besides this little area, but um, like I said, normally it gets a lot worse than how it is right now, so I'm really happy with these results. Um, like I said earlier, I don't think I'll be doing this every day, but... Definitely, I will be experimenting with this more in the future for especially like special occasions, maybe like a wedding or I don't know if you have like a special dinner to go to for maybe like Valentine's Day for all you um, couples out there. <laughs> but yeah, I have to say I'm really impressed with this technique and I challenge you guys to try it out. Um, and I just got back from two hours of dancing, so this is really nice for being after all of that, so this is a really nice idea. Maybe I'll do this for when we have our shows. So that concludes my review on the Jamsu Foundation Technique. 
I really love it. I think it came out really well. It really lasted and gave my foundation a really nice, um, flawless and satiny, like, all together finish. It wasn't patchy or anything, and it was really fun to try out. So, try it out, you guys. I think it's a really good idea. Like I said, I will link below the video that I watched um, on how to do it and everything. So, um, if you have any uh, requests or any more hacks for me to try, leave a comment and I will do my research and I will definitely try it out for you guys if you want to see it. So, um, thanks for watching and like, comment, subscribe, share and all that and I will see you guys soon. Yopper. Ooh, somebody's in trouble. Crap, I need a headband. You can't set a timer for 30 seconds? No, it has to be at least a minute. Oh, I'm just gonna like, oh, I need a towel. Oh. I think I'm getting a zit over here. I can feel like a lot of pressure right here. Come on, that's no good. I don't wanna go to class. I had a really cute outfit planned for today and I'm not gonna be able to wear it because there's a lot of snow. I was gonna wear these really cute new booties, but looks like I'm gonna have to wear my snow boots instead. So, I don't know what my hair is doing, by the way. It's just kind of flopping around. Okay, I need to disregard my mustache because I need to pluck my peach fuzz. <laughs>